y'all say we get this party started? Yeah! Hey. We are the altar boys. You know we're coming to your town. We, we are, are the altar boys. We're gonna knock the devil down. We are the altar boys. We're going to sing or do today. We are the altar boys. We always kneel when we pray. We are the altar boys. Oh, we oh, think oh, that church is oh, oh, fine. Oh, we oh, are the altar boys. We love the waiters oh, and wine. We are the altar boys. My name is Suze and I'm an altaholic. Tonight will be special because it's special for the boys because it's their two year anniversary and it's special for me because I've seen it a hundred times so it's like a milestone. For me it helps, uh, it's very stressful at work so I use it to just relax. I would say the typical altaholic is probably a lot younger than me. Uh, they tend to be like in their teens or in the mid 20s. I'm probably in the as we call it, the older demographic range. What I'm holding in my hand is a present for James. And uh, James is an ex-alter boy, and he's going to be a daddy. So I have a present for him and his wife. The, the cast responds very positively to the altaholics. I know they enjoy when we're here, because we give them love and support, and they, as an actor, they need that. Well, I'm gonna be seeing the show, and then we're gonna have a little cake with the boys for their second anniversary, and then we're gonna go to the Time Out Lounge and have a few drinks and celebrate. I'm feeling very good, thank you. It was a great show. Great show. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. I do know Suze. I do. I love her. She's, she's, uh, this is our 100th show. It's, it's really incredible, and she's always, she's always in the front row cheering us on, and big crowd, small crowd. She just always makes us perform our best. She loves us, and we love her. So you picked the perfect person to talk with me, with Sean, because he's like my little boy. I just little love boy. him to death. To death. There was an instant where there was, there was someone, someone being was stalking and, Zach. And, yeah. yeah. So. And, you know, I think it does push the back. I think the younger fans don't understand. You know, they just like get all excited and, and they don't know. It's who's like there. a teeny bopper bopper would be with their big idol, you know, so they can get closer to them. It's fun. I used to be a huge fan of boy bands. I know I've had to see it 50 plus times. Over a hundred. I don't know. Over, a, I'd say like 110. I did see the show like five times in a two week period and that was pretty good. I have followed it here, Baltimore, Philly, and flew to Dallas for a weekend. <laughs> Altaholics.com is a very fun site. It's where you check out to see what the show is doing, what the boys are doing, what each other is doing. Um, and it, it's just fun to check out every day. I think you start out as the Apostle of Pop, then you go to the Monk of Mizell, uh, the Deacon of Dance, the Vicar of Virtue, and then the last one is the Bishop of Bling. Hi, I'm Heather, I'm the Archbishop. So basically it means I'm in charge of the altarholics and I'm kind of the liaison between the boys and the fans. You know, I flew places to see boys in shows. I flew to San Francisco, I went to Pittsburgh, to Kansas City. It's the craziest thing I've done, but the craziest thing I've seen people do, they won, they proposed to the boys, someone actually proposed to a boy, a couple people actually proposed to a boy, you know, they've done crazy things. I think that while some of them need to be reined in, I think that most of them are very nice people that mean well and we all share a genuine love for the show. Just some of them show it in different ways than I would choose to do. Put the rhythm in me.